here, welcome to Red Flag Life. A space where if you have a red flag notched on your belt or several or many, this is the space to uh, see what you can do for the rest of your life where maybe uh, those red flags are not uh, erasable. So uh, today's subject, um, title, Riffin subject, uh, clickbait, uh, yeah, I don't know, is about um, barometers. Yeah, I haven't thought of the um, title as I'm recording this, but um, basically men and women can be the barometer of where we are going in society and uh, this is how we are a barometer maybe a thermometer but uh, usually the uh, the metaphor of barometer is used in this com uh, context so let's see if I can unpack this on the fly I, uh, I never prepare these. Yes, it's crappy quality. It's while I'm driving, but it's something for the red flaggers, and this is all you're going to get because I don't expect to get many views, so I don't give a damn. Right, women. Let me tell you, um, women have. Uh, um, well, I told you many episodes ago that. Um, the nature of women, uh, what women value is just quickly, women value safety and security and they reason by their feelings and emotions more accurately, more so than men. Men, on the other hand, value freedom and liberty and uh, reason this world through logic practicality more so than the feelings and the um, and the emotions there's a few bitchy men out there don't you worry about that I've uh, been a bit emotional in my time oh but uh, generally the dudes the dudes can uh, reason with logic a little bit better than the ladies and to reason with a lady usually you need to put in some time and even then, you're not going to uh, get ahead, but uh, at least you can try. So, the barometer part of this recording episode, I'll start with the women first. Women are a major barometer of how they see future society going. In the sort of men they choose. What sort of men are they choosing? The rough type, muscular, tattooed. Uh, tattooed. This is, um, you know, the eight, nine, ten women. Um, they got their pick pretty much of the bunch, and uh, they they continue being, you know, the eighteen to twenty-two year old women. They string it along until they hit 40 and then it drops off a cliff uh, all the interest from the guys and they wonder why well your beauty your sexual market value is only there for a little while and while you're living it up even in when you're 26 uh, 32 and 35 uh, you're yeah, milking it away and uh, women age like milk men age like wine and uh, I'm not like wine at the moment because uh, usually the wine part comes with uh, an income and some status. I balls that up. That's one of my red flags. Um, you know, legal issues, divorces, baby jail, uh, and I'm just getting started. Uh, yes, 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 yes. So, um, okay, the barometer for the women. So, women are choosing um, those uh, confident rough type guys um, 
a lot more with women these days like beards. Oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> I'm not going to get uh, much success in my state, let me tell you. I could bullshit and get some success, but nah, nah, nah. I'm not going to bullshit on, on, on out of that. So, women are going for the strong, perceived strong. A lot of them are betas, but uh, you know, there's alphas in there, and there's a thing called gammas too. Gammas are the romantic types and the intellectual types. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So alpha, betas, and gammas. So women don't perceive, don't foresee. Their barometer is indicating havoc on the horizon, havoc on the horizon of humanity, and they're going for the for the protective, strong men, the dudes that have already got some uh, status, some resources, and some strength. And uh, that's what that is about. On the other hand, men, men that um, have capability of um, gaining resources over a few years, a decade of study and um, building up through an organization or building up their own entrepreneurial pursuit or whatnot, uh, a lot of them are choosing to be the whole living in your mom's basement type crowd and even many of them end up being MGTOs and incels and red pill, black pill types, right? that's a barometer on the guy side that uh, they just drop on their bundle because uh, they have a size XXL pants they're probably balding a bit and they've got a bit of a bit of a gaggly um, double chin like, uh, yeah. I've got uh, thoughts on that with the whole health thing I've, I've gone from a size you know, 48, 50 <laughs> pants. I wasn't bowling, heaven, heaven forbid, but um, I was obese and it wasn't pleasant, but I fixed that up and uh, if there's any interest there, there's a, in the notes, the reason why I'm looking fitter than most, approaching a half century in vintage age, is because of uh, what I advocate on another, on another space uh, real health uh, podcast and um, YouTube channel as well so that's that but um, some of those guys that uh, that aren't too masculine looking they're the uh, madman types uh, yeah the madman dude um, you know the whole suit wearing clean shave women went for those guys back in the 50s, 60s and yeah, part, part of the 70s perhaps, but uh, in the 70s the dudes started growing the hair, growing the beards drinking and you know, oof, um, having bar fights and shit oh, they were doing bar fights for you know, years, decades and centuries before that as well but don't worry about that but uh yeah so women went for the clean cut guys half a century ago but these days they're going for the rough house guys because they see they see some rough shit society isn't looking too good down the track interesting uh i uh, love interest at the moment um is going for me and she's quite negative about the future oh yeah oh yeah anyway so uh there's the barometer uh, the, and women have a greater stake in being the barometer in making a bet on the future on the future of humanity the guys are a bit yeah they're uh, they're their barometer is a bit off. The women are more intuitive, and that's why they're going for the for the more masculine, beta-y 
you know, rough projector. So, um, women have um, a better barometer. Dudes that um, not not going to uni, not going to tertiary education anymore because you know, the whole woke thing and um, not getting employed in the in the public sector and government and that sort of thing because they're not they, they're not you know, especially the white uh, the white Christiany type chap, chaps out there they they're not going to get employment so they're just in their mom's basement. So, a little bit of me there, um, you know, white Christian type, but that's not going to be liked. Um, I'm not sure if uh, YouTube might censor that sort of shit, but anyway. So, women are the better, better barometers because they choose the men, and the men fit the moles that, that the women go for. So they hit the gym, grow a beard, get some tats, on the top, on the top, you know. Uh, actually, <laughs> I got encouraged to uh, grow a beard and here, here I am, here I am. So yeah, anyway. And uh, that's pretty much it in a nutshell what I'm trying to uh, cover today. But uh, women also um, pass on the culture more um, through you know through toddlers and young children yes men have a say you know when kids get a bit older you know seven eight plus you know you know uh, they encourage more risk taking uh, with the kids you know but uh, women are the real barometer Things may not look too too good in, in war wartime. Uh, women, you know, they have a lot at stake. You know, they pretty much you know, when you get pregnant at the age of 21, that's it. You're gone. There's no more uh, what we have these days of uh, you know keeping. You know, you can have three three kids still look like you know uh, look like you're at eight or nine and still get a guy. Oh, they dumped me. Well, because you got you know, one, two, three kids with, with another fella. So that's the whole, that's a red flag list in itself, right? And, you know, the red flag guys, you know, taking advantage of uh, women, taking their uh, sexual, their high sexual market value years by taking advantage. Get some of the side swami while, while, I'm, while, while I'm recording this. And, uh, taking advantage of uh, women's access, taking adva advantage of the women's uh, nuclear option, giving access so that they can try and get that alpha man. You know, men take advantage of the access, women provide the access to get the alpha, but they just use them and we're both using each other up and it's a sad, sad state of affairs. So, um, and, and kids, you know, in this whole woke you know, culture these days, uh, they're being raised as uh, raised on the left mainly. Uh, so that's why I encourage, um, you know, if you're more on the right side of uh, the divide, I encourage homeschooling, or uh, at least having some uh, control in uh, what what sort of education your uh, kid is uh, is being exposed to so so I don't uh, start rambling and trying to uh, to unpack I'll just leave it there I usually go a bit longer but um, the whole barometer complex is a sign a sign of the feelings, the thoughts, where uh, particularly women see things going. Even though women have got, have got more chance of being woke, they got uh, the reason why they're woke is because they need to be, they need to be mammalian. They need to 
make animal decisions. Unfortunately, the whole angel or mammal thing that I introduced, which I borrow from Stephen Molyneux, um, they need to make those mammalian decisions because it works. They need to uh, do the hypergamy thing because they're in it. Women are in this whole relationship and family thing to get the best provider they can at the time. And you gotta do what you gotta do, which is sometimes an animal kills to survive. And sometimes a woman initiates divorce to survive better. They can always, they can always survive, right? But they want to survive better. So they do what they got to do. They divorce the man. They get the whole alimony, alimony child support, uh, money from the government, even if it's break even. Because even if uh, you know, the dude is um, earning enough, which is the com a combination of um, you know, when she divorces the guy, 80% of divorces initiated by the woman. Uh, even if... Um, you know, the woman breaks even with the alimony and the child support and the uh, government benefits. She'll still divorce the man because she's just got the shits with him. She uh, starting to think he's a beta. She wants to be treated better. She wants more attention. So she divorces the poor bastard. Yeah, 80%. Even, even if it's not marriage, like even um, you know, relationship breakups uh, mainly initiated by the woman um, in a longer term relationship with, with those uh, with those men that uh, you use the women well yeah perhaps uh, those short-term flings are more men given the flick but um, that in a way is uh, a bit healthier and uh, yeah so um, uh, I said I'd be stopping because I because I'll ramble. Um, yeah, I ramble a lot, a lot anyway. But um, what else did I want to un unpack? Uh, I, I thought there was something else. Sorry, that's it. So that's the whole barometer complex. Why men, um, many men, are in the basement playing computer games, uh, not going to uni, just uh, trying to get laid, uh, not going for uh, improving themselves and going for quality women because it's no use um, there's just uh, a whole helpless hopeless um, complex with, with the guys particularly when they're not of high sexual market value but uh, they're high resource value if you know what I'm talking about like uh, they might be you know techies uh, on triple figures not quite six foot but uh a little bit obese, probably balding. They're not going to get that uh, eight, nine, ten chick, right? But uh, even if they get the six, seven chick, and uh, yeah, they just don't like the whole idea of fuck. You know, there's a high divorce rate. I'm not going to be employed. I'm just going to do my own thing, and you know what I'm trying to get at. Uh, I'm packing that. Uh, but the guy sphere, uh, what men are deciding to do, you know, the whole computer games, taking drugs, and oh gee, I've got a whole taking drugs thing. Taking drugs is a form of piker where you know, it's not really um, self soothing, self medicating, it's uh, nutrient deficiencies, yes. The whole drinking, smoking, um, obesity, and drug taking um, is uh, nutrient deficiencies, yes. Uh, if you're interested, um, there's links there on the show notes to go down that path but um, there you go barometer women are a major barometer and the reason why they're choosing those dudes the rough uh, and tumble type guys that often treat them like shit too right is because uh, they want the protector even though they you know they're not treating the lady too well they just want that strong man because they need strength in um, their perceived future of bad outcomes of humanity so there you go and those uh, MGTOs 
those incel dudes, that's the guy version of the barometer. That's it in a nutshell. That's the quick summary. Until the next time, ciao.